It is Dan the Houseman coming to you live from the Dan and Tina Home Show. Today we're going to be talking about tubular P-traps. The one I have here on display today is a Home Depot heavy-duty type P-trap. All right. What sets this apart from other P-traps would be that the elbow has a recessed section for a washer to be placed onto the elbow. And of course, you always wanna do that so that it's bevel side down, okay? Bevel side coming out. You see that? You do not wanna have this backwards. It's not gonna work correctly, but you'd be surprised how many times I've seen people actually put this on here the wrong way and think that's going to work. Well, guess what? It doesn't. So. The only thing you have to do is make sure you have your bevel going the right way, okay? You simply push it on there, make sure it's all the way on, all the way around, and you're good to go. The importance of that bevel is it's what meets up with the J-Benz bevel that you see up inside of here, okay? This has to meet up with that. And when it does, and there's a nut on here, tightening onto these threads, it squishes that rubber washer into that bevel. Let me demonstrate. Okay. Now, if you ever wondered why it's called a P-trap, well, there you go. It looks like a P, all right? The letter P. When you have rubber washers, you do not need to over torque these nuts to create a seal. It takes actually very little compression of that rubber washer to create a seal. That is the advantage of these type of washers over plastic. Plastic does not like to compress as well as rubber does. Now, this particular P-trap the heavy-duty version from Home Depot, does have a special feature. When you look inside here, there's actually a recess with a shoulder right there. If you need to have this P-trap installed and have a little bit of an extension to come up, not too much because you don't want to have too much of a trap, okay? But if you had to come up a little bit more, you could actually use that to do it. You would have, say, a, oh, a, an elbow uh, piece that's threaded, Instead of this one being beveled, it would be threaded. And you could actually slip that into that recessed section. And you'd have pipe that went down inside of here about so far. Okay? You can see it inside there. You do not find that on most P-traps. That's only the heavy-duty version that I've found at Home Depot. Now, there are some other features here that come with this package. You have a inch and a half by inch and a quarter reducing washer. You see the difference between this one being the inch and a half standard beveled washer and this one being the inch and a half by inch and a quarter reducing washer. They both have bevels, but this one reduces down to an inch and a quarter diameter for the purpose of if you were to use this trap for a lavatory sink, what we otherwise call a bathroom sink, you would need this washer on that piece of what we call the tailpiece of the drain of the sink to be in this washer so that it made the transition from inch and a quarter to inch and a half. Assembly of a P-trap is relatively easy. It does not require any grease, silicone caulk, or Teflon tape or anything else. It is simply a matter of having this washer compressed into this beveled space. When you do that, you, you, do, you do it with these slip nuts, and this is referred to as a slip nut P-trap, by the way, by many people. So when you refer to it, refer to it as a tubular slip nut P-trap. One of the features of a tubular slip nut P-trap is it gives you a great deal of versatility as far as where your sink drain could be in accordance with the orientation of where the drain is in the wall. So let's say if it's straight on, well, then you're straight on, right from the drain of the sink, right into the wall. 
which is very common. But sometimes they're offset a little bit, and you have to make an adjustment one way or another. Okay? This trap makes that very easy because this slip nut joint gives you that versatility. You could be in a quite of a different range of locations for the sink drain tailpiece to line up with the trap and yet go into the wall where you want to be. The um, P-trap can be cut with a hacksaw, a sawzall, uh, many, pretty much any kind of a, of a saw could cut it. I'd recommend fine tooth um, saw blades for that. A hacksaw is kind of ideal. When you do that, you'd want to deburr the end so that it looks like this and doesn't have all kinds of, you know, what we call hairs sticking off of the end of it from where you have sawed that end off. You want to be careful so that, let's say, where you're going into the wall, okay, we'd say this is the portion that's inside of the wall, the drain that you're going to be attaching to. You want to make sure that this P-trap actually enters this at least three quarters of an inch or more. Now, you don't want to go too deep because you could actually bring this in so far that it could be blocking the T. You could actually hit the inside of the T and have this drain to where it's going to back up on you pretty short order because it isn't actually dropping into the T and allowing it to flow. Okay, so you'd want this to be some, something like this, okay, inside of here. And then the rest of it is the T going down. This particular piece is known as a trap adapter. I don't particularly like this one that comes with the kit because it is rather thin, but it does work, all right? This would have to be glued onto a Schedule 40 PVC pipe uh, with solvent and primer in order to make that a good joint. Uh, one of the things that I like for people to know is that there's a difference between a male adapter, okay? A male adapter is one that has male threads and a trap adapter. And that difference is a trap adapter has this bevel. If it does not have this bevel, it is not a trap adapter. Trying to use a regular male adapter as a trap adapter is going to lead to problems because you're not going to have this beveled surface on the inside here. All right. So I hope that answers all of your questions about the identifying names of the J-Bend, Elbow, Slipknot, Slipknot Inch and a Half Washer, Slipknot Inch and a Half by Inch and a Quarter Washer, and Trap Adapter. Next, we're going to illustrate how you would actually put a trap together. Okay? And that will be a live action of a real P-trap on site. Thank you. Have a good day.